those of you who choose ankle carry for either a primary gun or a backup gun, I want to talk to you a little bit about this crossbreed holsters option. Crossbreed holsters has come up with what is a dramatic improvement over the state of the art as far as ankle holsters go. Now, one of the difficult things about ankle holsters has always been fit. Um, to a certain extent, comfort has been an issue. And then, of course, accessibility to the firearm, making sure we can get that firearm out very efficiently has always been a concern if it's a defensive gun and who's going to be carrying a gun on their ankle if it's not a defensive gun after all. So let's take a look at some of the things that Crossbreed Holsters has done here. First, I'm going to start with the, the primary ankle strap. Now, you could remove the secondary strap, the one that goes up above the calf muscle, but I don't recommend that. If you were to do that, however, this particular design from Crossbreed is very secure. It's not just this pressure strap here with hook and loop fastener. By the way, a very padded one that's actually going to be comfortable against any of the bones down there on your ankle. Anything that's going to be pushing up against your leg is going to be very padded to the firearm itself. It's not just this pressure strap here. There's also a cinch that also has the hook and loop fastener on it. You're going to go through this little D-ring and then come back to apply extra pressure for that last 10-20% of pressure that's going to more likely hold this firearm in place. You remember, your leg moves a lot during the day, right? As I walk, as I take a step, if I run, if I'm going to go upstairs at all, uh, not just for that dynamic situation, just any time of time of the day when you're moving, when you're not just sitting still or sitting in a car, there's a lot of movement here and there's a lot of weight just on one side of the strap. So having a strap that has plenty of surface area for the hook and loop fastener as this primary piece does, and having this option of cinching everything down and adding another 10, 15, 20% of pressure, maybe going back after walking around a little bit, after you walk uh, from the parking garage up to your office or whatever, reaching down, popping this open, taking it in another extra 5, 10%, cinching this down. This is a great evolution. This is a great option. Now the ankle strap has been around for a while. The calf strap, I should say, has been around for a while. The one that goes up above the calf muscle. But let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got a couple of points of adjustment. Not only do we have this elastic with hook and loop that that we can get adjustment on for the, the actual diameter of the circle for this strap, which by the way also is padded. Again, we see another piece here that addresses comfort where all the stitching would be and this other piece that would rub up against the inside of your leg. There's a lot of padding here, which is really cool. There's also some adjustment here in terms of the height. So everybody's leg is going to be a little bit different. I can open this area up here, this hook and loop, and if I wanted to, I could remove this strap entirely, although I really don't know why anybody would want to do that. I could, more importantly, adjust the height. So I can shorten that, or I can go this way, and I can lengthen that right there, and that'll give me exactly the distance I need. Now, rather than pull up my pants and kind of show you how this goes on on my leg, I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate it, you know, as if this wrist were actually the ankle. And we'll just look at what's going on here as far as how this fits. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this open. I'm going to place the firearm in a comfortable location here. I'm going to reach underneath. Lock that strap down. I'm going to take this cinch. I'm going to put it through the D-ring. Pull to tighten. Okay, and now I would have that locked down on my ankle. The way this piece attaches, then we'll skip to that. I'm going to adjust the height appropriately so that it goes over the bulk of my calf muscle. This is going to give me a little extra consistency on exactly where the firearm is placed. Of course, consistency is a big part of making sure we get our draw stroke regularly uh, practiced. We want to make sure it's always in the same place. I'm going to then come around and strap this down. So I've got the firearm down on the ankle, I've got this extension set up so that this strap is going to be above the calf muscle, and this is going to have a very high likelihood of keeping the firearm exactly where I want it to be. Now the good news is, most ankle guns are going to be lightweight guns, they're going to be relatively lightweight. Let's take a look at the accessibility and the protection. First of all, there's a lot of coverage here on the firearm itself. I like that because this can be a very dirty place to carry a firearm. If you carry your firearm down by the ground, obviously you're kicking up dirt, you're kicking up dust, you've got lint, you've got everything else coming down off your pants, your socks. So there's a lot of potential for, for dirt and grime to get into the gun. So any kind of holster that completely covers the gun is going to be better. And it's got a very simple hook and loop fastener. I could take my thumb, push in against this, sweep it down to get my grip as I pull the gun out and that's going to give me the quick release of the firearm. So you can see the hook and loop fastener here. There's plenty enough to be secure to keep the gun locked in, but there's not so much that I can't take my thumb, sweep down against my leg, 
produce that firearm very efficiently. Now, obviously, I'm wearing one of these. Let's take a look and see what I'm wearing. Um, down here, instead of that subcompact gun, I've got a compact gun, a gun very similar to the one that I would actually carry as a primary, and I can pull my pants up around it relatively simply, get my hand down there, sweep that hook and loop fastener, and come up with a good presentation through the ready. And I'm carrying here, obviously, a 9mm subcompact uh, Glock. So wearing the ankle holster is something that some people will choose to do. If you do choose to do it, make sure you get one that has these types of adjustable straps like the crossbreed holster. We've got the strap up here above the calf muscle, and again, it's very comfortable. I've been wearing it now for a little while. The ankle holster is not my primary choice, but if you're going to choose one, this is absolutely the best one that I've seen, the best designed ankle holster purpose-built to be adjustable, comfortable, and reliable.